Welcome to this Windows channel and this is my video where I talk about another antivirus as we are going to talk about many antiviruses this uh, week and uh, in the next few days. So now we're talking about Windows Defender. In Windows 10, Windows Defender is the antivirus. You can find it by searching for Defender and go in and check it out. First thing that I don't like about Windows Defender is that by default it does not have an icon here to show you its status, that little brick wall here. It should be in the taskbar. Now I've had a lot of people tell me so. What if it's in the taskbar or not? It's important because it gives you a visual of the antivirus if it's okay or not. And I like to have a visual because it's security. Um, you know, it's something that scans my computer all the time, so why not have a visual of what it finds or not? So, I uh, did a few tests of Windows Defender, and um, basically what Defender came up with, uh, it, first of all, does not have any junkware or anything. It's integrated into the operating system of Windows 10. It actually has a very low impact, because when you actually... Um, go to the settings and say, well, I want to, um, you know, have Windows Defender stop working and you just deactivate it. There's really not much difference. Of course, it is built in the core of Windows, so it does have that advantage over other antiviruses. The test file, the e, uh, EICAR or ACAR test file is amazingly detected real well. As soon as I've tried to save it in the computer, as soon as I tried to download it, it immediately tell, told me there's malware against it's working on removing it. So it's amazing for that. Processor usage was very low, uh, so it does show that that thing is really, really tweaked. Memory usage, Windows Defender was in memory usage of around 75 to 80 megabytes. So if we go into Task Manager and we look at its usage, uh, anti-malware executable is here. You see that the CPU is very low. The memory usage is from 75 to 80 megabytes. 120, 115 when you're scanning a file. Um, I've done my test of scanning my 2.3 gigabyte folder that I've just put there just for that just for scanning it did it in two minutes 20 seconds uh, compared to other antivirus well I've only tested Avira right now but it's uh, 30 seconds faster than Avira for it it does not include a firewall as Windows does have a firewall itself and you know firewalls in a software is not something that I find real cool because your router's firewall is much better doesn't have a sandbox mode. Um, malware detection was not that great because I've downloaded the same files that Avira prevented me from actually downloading. Um, Defender did not prevent it. They downloaded and I would have been able to basically infect my machine with all sorts of bad stuff. So malware protection isn't that great. Uh, that's maybe a very low point in the antivirus, I would say that with the fact of lack of icon. So um, it's a mixed bag for Windows Defender in my test and so um, I didn't say it maybe for Avira but I'm gonna give like a, a score out of 10. I gave uh, Avira 7 out of 10 for a free antivirus. I'm giving um, giving Defender a 5.5 out of 10. It doesn't have quite the passing score. So it gives you an idea of how interesting this is. Um, even though it's you know integrated in there, it's uh, a little delicate to uh, really have this antivirus uh, working great. And uh, the malware side isn't that good. Now, of course, the malware that I download aren't exactly very bad stuff. They are in the mid-range where it's annoying, but it's not necessarily dangerous. So maybe it's because of that that it's not detecting it. But you know what? Avira did detect it and just said, no, you can't download this. I'm refusing this on your computer. 
So um, Avira for free seems to be better, much better than Windows Defender, and uh, that's an interesting observation here. And of course, we're going to continue checking out different antiviruses and seeing how well they cope with real-world execution and uh, you know how they impact your computer. Hope you enjoy the series. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, uh, let us know. Maybe an antivirus that I'm not going to test that you'd like to see a test. I've had a few requests now. And hope you enjoyed this series of videos on antivirus in your computer.